let's say the first thing we want to do is add some gravity to it. Uh, right now, no gravity is built in. So the first thing we have to do is tell it where are these particles going. And you know, remember, with default emitters, every particle is, you know, they're all siblings. It doesn't matter which group they're from unless you bake them. Thinking particles aren't like that. I can't remember where they hide this. Thinking particles, here we go. Uh, we're going to go to thinking particle settings. It's got its own little menu that was hidden in there. Uh, now, default, there's an all, but we don't want it to be under all. Then we can't give it specific, well, we could give it specific parameters, but then it affects every particle all the time, no matter what. So I'm going to right-click on it and say add, and we'll just leave it with the name group one. Uh, under object, thinking particles. So we made group one. We could rename that whatever we like. And then we can have it display however we like. This could be represented by little boxes, by flakes, by anything. We'll leave that at, well, we'll just leave it default. Now we have to tell these particles to go into that group. So we're going to go back into the Expresso editor right here. And I'm going to click on this last dot. And there's something called particle birth. So at its birth, what's going to happen to it? So I'm going to right click, go to new node, thinking particles, and now this is something you're going to do over and over again, so this is a very important part. Before anything can affect a thinking particle, it has to belong to a group. So we're going to tell it to go, we're going to go to, you know, new node, thinking particles, initiator. Actually, that's probably not it, but we'll need that. We'll need that in a second. Let's ignore it. I always mix those up. Uh, PPAS standard. So we're going to go to new node, thingy particles, TP standard, and then P group. So the particle group. So we're going to tell these particles, I'm going to link these two nodes, we're going to tell those particles to go into the group. But right now it's default all because there's nothing. So with the same thinking particles menu, I'm going to drag the word group one into P group. And now those particles are being born into group one. But they're a child of all. So if we have something affect all, those will still be affected. But anyway, now that we've done that, uh, let's make a second null object. And I'm going to move it over so we can see it. And we're going to make this our gravity. So drag in that null. Actually, I don't think we even need to drag it in. But we need, did need to create it. Uh, I'm going to make a new node, thinking particles, um, TP dynamic. It's all the neat ways to affect it. I'm going to make a P gravity. Now, we have to tell it wh what is it. So we, we don't link it in that way. We drag it right in. So I'm going to drag in first the new null object into object. And I'll rename it gravity. All right, so we've got that. Now, it's not having any effect on it. Well, it's pointing in the wrong direction. We rotate that downward. So it's 90 degrees down. It's still having no effect. Well, we have to link it. Well, if we go and we link this directly, there's still no effect. And that's because you can't take it directly from the generator. We pass them into group one. Now we need to pull them back out. So we're going to go to thingy particles, the initiator, TP initiator, P pass. And where do we want to get the particles from? Not from all. They'll affect everything. We want to get them from group one. So we drag those in. Now we will link P pass to gravity. Now you're not going to see much effect because it's not very strong. But you see how they started tilting downward just a little bit? Uh, now we'll click on this node and let's actually, uh, let's click on gravity and now we have these settings. So let's crank it up. I'm going to crank it up to a thousand. So now we have the gravity beginning to affect those particles. And pretty much what we, I mean, it's just like making gravity and uh, that's really strong. Um, it's just like making gravity with uh, regular particles, but we can do so much more. And, and just in the same way, now because it's linked to, to this null object, as we rotate this around, we can affect the direction that's blowing those in. Well, the gravity, it's pulling it that direction. Um, let's see. But there are a bunch more things we can do. One thing, and I mean, just a, a simple, as simple a setup as we have here, right now the type is set to planar, which is a direction. And you saw, uh, and this is kind of weird, but as soon as we applied that node to it, it doesn't look like a null object anymore. It turned into this arrow shape. 
and whatever direction that's pointing is which way the, gravi the gravity is pulling it. Well, we can